Yeah, I'm brushing my hair out of my face. I'm doing this again. Guys, I'm doing these back to back. So if you just watched issue 17, I'm doing issue 18, which is actually this week's. So again, I fell behind. That's my own fault. But issue 18. Um, two paints, 650 each. Yeah, 13 bucks. We paid 20. Um, that's if you don't count the big mat that comes with it. It is only, you know, pretty solid. Um, big, chunking cardboard kind of thing. It's actually quite solid, which I'm actually really sh surprised about. Um, it is lovely detailed, as you can see there. But on the other side, you can see the barrels and it's got some destruction craters and things like that. So one side's nice and clean and the other side's not. Um, but yeah, comes with that. And you know what? Folds up nice and neat, chuck it in your backpack. I've already started this review, but we'll go through that magazine in a second. Two pots of paint. I do need extras of these colors. That's just what happens when you paint a lot. Um, I'm gonna pop that there. This will go behind me too. On my shelf of conquest stuff that I really hope you guys never see because it's a mess. Um, but issue 18, in issue 18, it goes through silver Templars. Um, and we get to learn about it. That's kind of the new Primaris thing, um, as well as the Empress Spears or whatever they're called. But yeah, silver Templars is a conquest thing. Um, pretty cool. I know that the guys in the UK can get a codex or a big thick book of them. I don't know what it is. It seems interesting enough, but it just seems to be a conquest only thing. Um, but again, I don't know. I really haven't seen much to do with it. No one's really got it that I know. Guys, if you're watching this and you've got it, can you message me and let me know what's in it? Um, but yeah. Flick the camera out. We'll go through the magazine. You don't need to see what pots of paint look like. Because um, you've seen them. They're just red and a light skin colour. <laughs> That's about it, guys. We'll go through the magazine in a sec. So here we go. Hand shaky cam. Yay. Alright, guys. Um, I got a nice flat issue today. Um, really nice. Uh, so Silver Templars, paints. Yeah, okay. And... Playmat included, and you saw how big that thing is, and it's really cool. Um, I'm glad to have it. So here we go, Silver Templars. What are they? They are um, Silver Templars, Novaris, Rupert Gilliman. Who would have thought about that? Zanaris, Dueling Weapon Mastery. Yeah, okay, hundred percent. Yep, okay. Anything to do with Gilliman, you're gonna have hundred percent there. Um, but yeah, so. Created from Gene Seeds of the Return to Primark, Rupert Gilliman, the Silver Templars are among the first of the Primaris chapters. Created, blah, blah, blah. You can read the rest for yourself. Okay, so he created them. They are the first. They're his first children, I guess. Um, and yeah, so here we go. Oops, sorry. Hang on. A bit too shiny there. Here we are. So see, you can see there, all nice and silver with a bit of yellow. That would actually be nice and fun to paint up, actually. Um, chapter symbol, sword, some lining. Not hard to freehand there, guys. The only thing you might find tricky would be painting yellow. Well, for me, painting yellow, I, tr I, I suck at it. I can paint white, I can't paint yellow. Um, chapter organization, it is the standard first, second, third, you know, the typical... Ultramarines, if you read that codex, if you've gone through the other magazines we've had, we already know that they're going to stick to this 100% and all the chapter side of things. Um, this is really cool. Guys, I actually might paint up a few of these. What do you think? Should I paint some of these up? Let me know in the comments. Um, so, 5th Company, 5th Guard, 4th by 6th, and 7th. Purple, green, black. That's how you tell. Usually the shoulder pauldrons would have the colors on there too, but I don't think so with silver templars. That's actually Really cool. Yeah, it just seems to be the knee pad that I have it 
I might read this a bit more in details later, but there we go. Um, Battle Brother, so that's your typical helmet, which is silver, sergeants are red, veterans are white. Veteran sergeants, white stripe, red helmet. Red stripe, white stripe, silver. That is not as hard as you think it is to do. And then silver, but with green eyes. So they're all yellow, except for him. Green eyes, but he's got the little skull and obviously the shoulder pad. But that's that. Uh, so what do we go here? Bolt weapons, typical standard old Space Marine weaponry is all bolt stuff. And there you go. All the different bolters up from heavy bolter to combi, which is a combi bolter with a plasma underneath. Storm bolters, assault bolters, pistols, you name it, it's a bolter thing. Here we go, a bit more information about those sweet, sweet hell blasters. Yeah, I love hell blasters. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Fire support squads, blah, blah, blah. There. Um, yeah. Cool. Let me go through there. The relief of Lycus. I should probably read these sometimes before going through these, but yep. Um, so I'm guessing some Death Guard stuff. And just another story. That is awesome. Alright, so painting fine details. Um, so that's everything you should have by now painted up to this point. That's all the Death Guard you should have up until this point. <laughs> um, there's a lot here, guys, already. Um, not full squads. Uh, you can't just bring one. You can't just bring two. But, you know, we got five. You got three. Anything. So that's okay. In, in this is okay. But, yeah. Um, so here we are. We're adding the red to the... Um, Scroll works, so they're the wax seals, um, to the their purity seals, they're the wax part of that. The cloak, really easy to do guys, red is super simple to do this on, this is a great starting point for red. Um, wear else reavers on the grenades if you want to, um, helmet on the leader dude, um, as well as a couple of other places as you'll go through. Um, Again, aggressors, you're painting one on the helmet. You might want to paint the uh, wires and the bit of the, what do you want to call it? The straps that hold the metal on. Bit of rope. Sorry, guys. And then doing a bit of gray on the basing, because remember, they've got little bits of detail. Um, Death Guard, I'm guessing we'll be getting the um, Rackard Flesh probably done. In places, nope, still going ahead with red. So yeah, just following that. Oh yeah, here we go. Rock up flesh, hitting the purity seals, healing the scroll work, um, hitting the ultra ultramarines symbol, face plate for the reavers. Looks really cool. I love these guys' heads. Uh, intercessors, same thing, and then you know, following it all the way down. Um, doing the bone. And the skulls and the teeth and things like that and all the grenades and there's a little nurgly dude you can hit his eye with some red and yeah that's pretty much what it's saying to do with it um, you doing the teeth you can hit this stuff on skin if you want to do some pox walkers all in Rakarth flesh feel free to do so and then one two they've got the crates they haven't got the barrels out but yeah again this is how to set it up, what we're doing, you know, standard mission type, different way of deployment on, not using the new map that we just got though, but it's there. Um, Lithic Light Hauler, that's its card for you there. New playmat from issue 21 onwards, the playmat, this battle goes planet side. Okay, sweet. So we stop with it and we actually start moving into the campaign side of things for conquest. That is cool. Um, so, we move on to the Mac. Like I said in issue 17, we're getting these dudes, which is really, really cool. I'm looking forward to that next week. And then issue 20 is the last shipping container, well, I think it's last, but of the sp three sprues from that box. So we get that. Anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you with issue 19. 
If you like my openings now, let me know in the comments if you want to keep seeing my face at the start of these videos, because I'm kind of enjoying it. All right, guys. See you later. Have a good night.